now we're going to go over how to set up a uh, Amazon Echo um, device. Like right here I have a second gen Echo 2 or if you have any Alexa device that you want to go ahead and set up. The first thing you need to do is download the Alexa app. So it's not the normal Amazon shopping app or anything. It's a whole separate app. So you need the Amazon Alexa app. So you can go and download that on either Android or iOS. Once you've done that and signed in and everything, once the app is open, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the hamburger menu, which is these three lines in the top left. Then you'll get this uh, menu that pops up, and you're going to want to click Add Device. Um, make sure at this time, before you go to the next step, that you have plugged in your Alexa, and it is totally booted up. Um, once it's fully booted up, it'll actually come over and talk to you and tell you that it's ready for setup. Um, you'll also see um, like a yellow light going around the ring or something like that. But Alexa will come over and tell you that she's turned on and she's ready to be set up. So go ahead and click Add Device. Once you do that, you see you get a bunch of different options here. This is where you would also go and add um, third-party products, like if you had Philips Hue bulbs or something like that you can go here and add that stuff. Um, just make sure if you're setting up a third-party device like Philips Hue bulbs or something like that, that you've gone and um, set them up beforehand if you need to. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and select on Amazon Echo devices because that's the device we wanna set up. Once we click on that, you see you have a bunch of different options for all the different products that they make. So you want to make sure you know which one you want to set up. So there's the normal Echo, the Echo Dot, Echo Dot Kids Edition, and so on and so forth. It'll tell you on the box um, which one you have. So I have an Echo Dot, and it's asking me which generation do I have, and you can see it shows pictures, so it's pretty easy to tell which one you have. I have a second generation one, so I'm going to tap down here. And now you can see, is your Echo Dot plugged in? Is it displaying an orange light? So go ahead and make sure you've done this, that it's ready to go. Mine is ready to go. Now it's going to go ahead and connect to my Alexa. You've connected. Now go back to the Alexa app. Now it's going to ask us to select a Wi-Fi we want it connected to. And I went ahead and selected the Wi-Fi. So now, is ready. so now you can see we're connected and it's connected to the internet, so we'll hit continue. And then the next thing um, it's going to ask is what room uh, is it physically in? So you can see I have a couple of rooms or groups um, already here and I can add it to one of those. Or um, if I'm putting in a room that doesn't have any other uh, smart home stuff, I get other options down here. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can make a custom name for the room as well. This one's actually going in the basement, so we're going to click on Basement. And then we'll click Continue. So now it's going to make that group and add this device to that group. There we go, and here it's going to ask us to enter in our our address. I'm not going to, but you totally can. Um, that'll help with things that need location, like if you ask it for the weather, um, or if you ask how long it's going to take you to get somewhere, or something like that. Um, it's going to need your address so it knows where to get that weather information for that location and things like that. So I recommend going ahead and adding that. I'm going to skip that for now, though. So once we're in, um, you can see you have a bunch of tabs down here at the bottom. And if you actually just go to the bottom right where it says devices, 
you can see basement is now a group. If I go ahead and select on that, you can see I've got the echo dot here. And if I go ahead and tap on it, I can go ahead and edit the name. So I can just say basement. And you can adjust the volume of the speaker, which there are physical controls on the top of the device that you can do that as well. But you can adjust that stuff here if you want to. Um, you get a bunch of audio settings, Bluetooth devices, um, so you can like pair it to a Bluetooth speaker or something like that if you want to. Oh, we jump back in here. Um, and there's a bunch of other things in the settings for this specific device. So that's how you go and set up an Echo device and make sure you get it in the right um, group here. And you can also see in my groups, I have all the other groups. But that's how you go and set up an Echo device. Hopefully that helps.